Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Market cap, $356 billion. Definitely seeing a lot of growth this week. Bitcoin now starting to break through 82, almost 8,300. However, we're starting to see something interesting. We're starting to see the altcoin market actually boost Bitcoin up. So a lot of these coins you can see are actually just way ahead of Bitcoin and it's propping it up. It's very, very interesting. Um, going through, you know, Ethereum's at 560 Bitcoin Cash trying to get to 1,970. EOS almost 950. And NEO steadily gaining 73, almost 74 bucks. And <clears throat> there's a time. So one of my friends has a trouble. Like, So there's a difference between lures and spears and wants and likes. So, for example, I had set a lot of lures for Bat. But then Bat had turned from a lure... <clears throat> to a spear and I was throwing spears all two weeks ago all, all just as much as I could every dip I could I was throwing spears at bat and it wasn't so much that I knew that the partnership was going to come I just knew that a big partnership would come it's kind of like you know you're going to be successful even though you don't know exactly how it's going to happen you just know if you work hard enough that you're going to get there. Well, with Bat, I just knew that the team was working hard enough. They had the resources. They had the connections. It was only a matter of time before the big partnership came to fruition. You know, Dow Jones Media, one of the biggest partnerships that you can really ask for if you're in um, the advertising business with Brave, if you want to talk about adding a legit presence, really, really just, that could be a, the stepping stone or a, a doorway opening to a lot more other projects but i like to buy when no one you know i like to buy it when it's quiet you know this is the line this is what they call accumulation accumulation is there for a reason what it's doing is soaking up all the sell pressure right and you also got to keep in mind there was i'm not saying this that this news was suppressed at all i'm not saying that at all but i'm saying a lot of coin i don't actually don't think this was but um there's a lot of coins out there that have been waiting to unleash big news so you have you know this bull market is going to be very, very strong for a couple of reasons. One, I already talked about with how we're in the spotlight. However, you have a bunch of news. So it's like the cannons are loaded. So it's like, man, when these green go, you're going to get news. Boom, boom, boom. And the market's just going to go absolutely nuts. It's set up so perfectly to have the most epic bull run that it's very hard to argue against that. Now, one of the things I like to see accumulation 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 soaking up all this sell pressure right you're accumulating you can't buy a large amount at once without doing this and who the fuck wants to do this if you're trying to accumulate you can just tell it's so obvious right it's accumulating in a straight line upward it's very obvious what's about to happen i mean you know it's just soaking it up and you can have you can just see it's just not one dip and then as soon as there's any news dry grass and fire right a little bit of fire and just because there's no cell walls there's no cell pressure i was telling um i was telling my friends that i was having a hard time accumulating wax bat and civic especially there's a lot there's not many sellers there's just not there's a lot of buyers not many sellers and what happens when you have something that boosts up like this does a straight batman head and then does not dip far i mean this is another accumulation if this stays like this and just does another one of these just such a buy opportunity in my opinion so what i've been telling my friends is you have to be dynamic right you can't just set lures when the market's doing this when the market's just steady doing this you have to adjust and sometimes if there's a want meaning i know that this coin is undervalued and i think a couple of years from now it's going to have more value to offer if that's the case, I throw spears. I don't get greedy. I'm not trying to get a 20% discount. What the fuck is 20% discount in the big scheme of things? Because if you miss out on that 20%, you can you can miss out on a big opportunity if you really think that this is um, the future of advertising, the future of Brave. Because you know the Brave browser is just one product with this basic attention token. Um, they're they're going after the whole ad space, and this is the, I believe there's going to be a bunch of products 
that stem off from this bat thing. And I really like, so there's a lot of, I'll, I'll touch on this briefly. There's a lot of coins that are trying to do too much, in my opinion. It's like, they start off wanting to do this, and then before you know it, it's like they're trying to take over the world. I really like coins that have their niche market, and they master it, right? A Civic, a Basic Attention Token, a Wax, they're all in their market, you know, a No Limit Coin even. Um, the thing about something like an Ethereum, a NEO, these are top, top coins, right? But the only difference is, man, their, their nose is exposed because they're for everything. And it's hard to be on top if you're used for everything because there's a lot of fucking competition there. Uh, it's very easy or, you know, it's easy to corner a niche market and master it because the competition's much lower. But how much competition does Ethereum have? You know, I mean, a coin like Tron, you know, they had one use case, but before you know it, now they're rivaling Ethereum. There's going to be a lot of people that come for the crown, is what I'm saying. So, um, Bitcoin especially, right? How many coins are coming after Bitcoin's crown? So I really like to find, um, of course, I diversify. I, I have Ethereum, I have NEO, because the, the, the thing is, if it becomes the king dick, if it becomes the big, big, big head person or head, you know, smart contract platform, you have a really, really big opportunity on your hands. Because, yeah, it might not shoot up as much as an altcoin, but it's different to have that kind of liquid stability. Because when it moves, it moves like mountains. You know, the, when Ethereum and Bitcoin really move, the altcoins respond either in a drastic way, up or down. So it's good to have both. A little bit of stability, um, try to pick the future of the world computer, really, because I believe that's what it's going to come to. It's all going to be a connected world world computers everything's going to be audited everyone's going to have a not everyone but the people that need to you know it's just going to be much more transparent than it's ever been so um you can you know just look at here's another example of what i was seeing something like wax go to the seven day and you can just see the same thing with the accumulation right it's just basically a straight line and then you'd, you'd see somebody i mean this is probably fucking me i mean i got i was getting impatient because i was not setting i was setting very low lures and then i was taking the low hanging fruit and it literally took me a month of sitting by the computer always having a tab open and plucking that low hanging fruit every time i could and sometimes i'd get a little a little greedy and I'd see a big cell wall a little bit up and I would just go for it because I, I, I really feel that the coin was just super, super undervalued. I can see this coin at two, $2 very easily with the market that it's in. And it just hit me with serendipity, you know, watching Drake and Ninja play a Fortnite game and they're talking about skins and it just dawned upon me. And I was like, wow, you know, this could really, this could really be something, you know, this could be the next Amazon of virtual items. And I really believe we're moving to a virtual world. So it really aligned with all things. You know, it's been sitting there staring me at the face. My friends are telling me about it, but you know, I'm stubborn. It takes me a while to, to move on to another coin. Um, and you can see the same thing with Civic. And Civic has just been a bitch. I mean, no one wants to sell Civic. I, I don't like, I'm not going to hate on who we buy. I'm probably butchering the name, but it's very hard to get any kind of action there. It's very odd with how high the volume is, but... You can just see it shot up, boom. Looks like a poker graph almost. Boom, <laughs> boom, and then what? Just straight accumulation, and it's been very difficult. This is the only bag that I'm still trying to pack. I have um, wax, bat, bat, all, you know, I'm pretty much satisfied in my entire portfolio. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit more Civic. And I think I have kind of like my dream portfolio that I can just chill with. And of course, I like playing around. Um, I've gotten to the point where I believe there's no lid and I just think that it's just a matter of realization when these coins that have value are just going to fly out and you're going to see some crazy things happen. So I'm not looking to try to play markets and, and, and catch, you know, sell and try to buy it lower. I'm not trying to do it right now. You know, I'm just, a, it's just a great phase of accumulation. That's all. Like, I think if hogs get slaughtered, if you, if you get too greedy trying to over trade, this type of market when you see things like this you know it's very hard you know if you're selling you know you bought low here and you sold then you sell out here and you're waiting for the next dip and then look what happens it just it's, you know then there's another one you're never going to see that again although with satoshi value and ethereum value generally over time we always see kind of like a, a pattern of it returning um although you know this could easily look like this in a year when we look back at this all-time high so it's very just there, it's, I look at it as like the little, I look at these, some of these altcoins as like eggs in a nest and they're starting to move a little bit, you know, they're starting to make little bird noises and 
before you know it, they crack open. You see these like little baby dinosaurs, and that's you know you just know that they're going to grow up to be these big badass um, creatures. So I'm going to kill it soon on this. Eos, di Eos Dat came out of nowhere. Uh, you know they just air dropped it. Boom, came out semi liquid, almost a million twenty four hour volume, ten cents. I mean that's that was a nice lick that came out of nowhere. This is. I think people are going to start to really see what's going on with EOS when you start to see all these very good airdrops because you're going to see some airdrops that are, you know, that if they went to ICO, they would have raised 50 to 100 million, if not more. Some of these projects that are going, you know, talking about the Steam It 2.0 that he's creating, they're going to airdrop all of that on us. So I think it, <laughs> I think that, I think EOS holders are in for a very fun and interesting ride. It's very interesting to have a coin that's that, that, is that fun, right? Because there's not going to be any coin that gets the amount of airdrops that EOS gets because that's their plan. They plan to fund the project so they don't have to go to uh, ICO and then airdropping it on the token holders. And, you know, I heard the thing with Wax about how they're going to build a sidechain. You know that the EOS team's helping them. And you know once Dan L instill, instills the fear of blockchain within the Wax team, they're going to find a way to make the custom adjustments on the Wax platform to get them onto the EOS chain instead of creating a split side chain. This is just my humble opinion. They're gonna, they might create a split side chain that becomes absorbed by the main chain, but eventually they're gonna be on the main chain, in my opinion. And the the guilds and all that stuff, the voting and all that that stuff, the custom stuff that Wax needs is gonna become available to everyone that uses EOS. That's the cool thing about EOS. It's the blob. It's this monster. It's what was that one person? It's kind of like a Mega Man that, you know, once it once it conquers you, once you become a part of the team, it has your power. It's going to learn everything. All of these, all of these badass ICOs that have these brilliant ideas, that have these badass engineers that are working on it are going to come to EOS and say, well, we want this, that, and this. And EOS is like, cool, build your little side chain. Before you know it, we're going to absorb you. And then the whole ecosystem is going to have these new tools that you use and they can use them however they want. Ah, I just it, it gets me really pumped up to think of the the power of EOS. My only regret is not buying more back when it was fifty cents. <laughs> I got enough though. I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. But um, you're always gonna feel that way though, right? Um, patience. People always say, "Man, I should have waited and I could have bought more." But that's greedy, and that's you're always gonna feel that way in life. Because what if it went up a lot? Because you bought the coin thinking it was gonna go up. So what if it went up? You wouldn't have been like, "Oh man, give my money back." I'm, I'm mad that it went up. <laughs> I, I don't know. You can't just always try to cherry pick every situation to think it's perfect for you. If you make a decision, you stick by it. If it goes lower, then it's on sale in my opinion. And if you don't have the money to buy it, it's called a fucking Zen move. There's always something to be had though. Oh wait, don't leave shit on the table. Life will present you many opportunities to grow in some form or fashion. And growing doesn't mean growing your bank account always. Sometimes you have to grow within to grow the bank account. It's that simple. There's always value. Stop bitching. This is a great time. A lot of people are starting to get into cryptocurrency. The banks are starting to fucking falter. The floodgates about to open. I believe there's a bunch of badass news about to come with these altcoins. They're just going to start shooting up like a rocket. Man, I just think that um, very good thing. You know, it's Verge with Pornhub for crying out loud. Um, there, there is a lot of good stuff coming out. When it comes to mass adoption taking over, you know, you can laugh at the porn industry, but that's another use case, man. I, I, I just like hearing people validate blockchain and, and accept cryptocurrency. The more that can happen, the faster people, the more liquid it's going to be. A cryptocurrency is more valuable the more places you can accept it. Why do you think Charlie Lee's so hell-bent on merchant adoption? Why do you think Bitcoin Cash is so hell-bent on merchant adoption? Because that what makes it valuable. If you can trade that for goods, and the more goods you can trade, it becomes a currency then. That's what we need. Mass adoption. That's what we're, you know, and we're starting to see it. So, um, hate or love the coins, whatever the fuck, you know, just cheer for mass adoption if you're up for crypto. Because any, any win for other cryptos is a win for you. Don't be a fucking hater. When you see something, a big win for another coin, that's good. Because if you believe in your coin and you have confidence, what it comes down to, pure confidence in your coin, you wouldn't be hating. You'd be cheering because you'd be like, hell yeah, we're next. They're paving the way. It's going to be easier now. You don't always have to be first. You just have to be consistent. And you have to, you know, stake your claim. I'm going to kill it here. Cheers. Peace.